So if you want to meal prep but you don't want to eat the same thing the whole time, yes, what I do. I cook the protein. So I cook the protein maybe with a sauce or something. I'm bulk cooking my husband's months. I'm quickly making him food because I start work tomorrow and he's already started work. So I'm bulk cooking his months. Once it's cooked, you could add like a base sauce. Uh, Habi chose this chunky mushroom. It's quite low in calories as well. Anything with a tomato base is quite low in calories. So chuck that in. And then he also wants a little bit of his barbecue sauce. If you look at sauces, it's not actually that high in calories except for like mayo. But I'm going to add some barbecue sauce. Side note, these jars are really good to reuse so these labels come off pretty easy and you give it a wash and there you got a nice new jar then I add some samples like salt, pepper and one of my personal favorites mix ups if you want really beefy food add a tablespoon of this it's low calorie the macros is protein mostly anyway and it is so delicious a nice beefy meal once you have your mince flavored like you want i tend to bulk up with some more veggies or i add veggies afterwards once it's all mixed in and stuff like that then you let it cool down and then i'll show you what to do next so just want to give you a few ideas what you can eat your base with um, you can do it with a portion of egg noodles you can have protein bagels you can have any type of bread the only bread i have here at the moment is protein bread you can have pasta lentils whole grain rice or even white rice now there's a few things that i don't have here that you can have it with like uh, potatoes or mash or vegetables so this is a base that you can use to meal prep very quickly and just add it to a carb or something you would enjoy it with so now that my food is completely cooled down, I'm going to weigh it out and see what the total is. So this was three packets of mints and Hubby's using it for four different meals. And we count the calories pre-cooked. So everything before it's cooked, then we weigh out the total. And when we get the total, we divide it into the amount of meals we plan for. So the total amount is 1,398, dividing that into four. I'm rounding down so each meal will get 340 grams. The best way is to make it zero to tear it and then you know you want to take out your amount of grams, in this case 340 grams. As you can see now it says minus 341 grams and I just need to do that three more times. As you can see I have the two in a container that goes into the fridge, not frozen, and then I use the block bags to freeze the other two meals. I normally write on the name that I have it saved on my fitness pile as as well as the calories and the macros but he doesn't have a lot of frozen food so he doesn't need to do this if you want to see a video of what i have already prepped in the fridge or the freezer so that you can get some ideas let me know